Okay, so it is the end of the day and I didn't film anything today. Nothing, nothing at all. Everything went smoothly with the church. It was, I mean, my husband programmed it so well that literally I pushed like five buttons and had to move a couple faders, which were the little slidey things. It was good. It was a very, uh, I'd say it was a simple service, but my husband programmed like 122 cues for this small service. So it wasn't that small, but what else today? I don't know, my brain is fried right now. I helped my sister-in-law with some of her math. She's in seventh grade. And, oh, math has just got me so, like, I, my, I don't want to say hatred, that's so strong, but my annoyance in math has just been restored. Just the, the dumb things you have to do in math. And I know that may sound like a dumb thing to say, but, like, when you have this whole equation and a big chunk of it is you solving to find zero and then it's in the middle of another equation. Why? Why did you even put that in there? If it was gonna be zero, just leave it out. Like you're literally just doing things to make more work for no reason. I, I don't know, like I was telling my husband, unless you're a chemist, some of this stuff just is pointless. I was watching a YouTube video because I'm a nerd. Remembering all of that made me want to remember more. And so I was watching this whole video and they were just talking about all of these ways to solve problems that are undefined. That's the answer, undefined. And I'm just like, I remember why I hated math as a kid. It's stupid. Once you get past the basics, it's just dumb. When you start putting stuff in fraction form, just to say divide, just put it in a division, just put in a division symbol, stop putting it in fraction. I just, I know when problems are big, I, I get it, but I just, I'm just frustrated right now. I think that the average person doesn't need to know all this stuff, but I get it. I get it, but it still doesn't make it any less dumb. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm tired. I've had such a long day, but it's been good. I, uh, last night and today drank my coffee black, no milk in it. Honestly, I didn't stop to think about my allergies, but I ate fast food and I had pizza last night. Guys, last night for dinner, I ate almost an entire pizza by myself. For me and my sister-in-law, who is 13, and my son, I ordered two pizzas and I ordered one pepperoni with black olive and I ate all of that pizza, but three slices. And then my toddler ate the one that had no pepperoni, I'm sorry, uh, pepperoni, but no black olives with my sister-in-law. She didn't want the black olives either. It had like pepperoni and cheddar cheese. He ate three slices, three slices of pizza, my two-year-old. I don't know what was up with us, but I guess we were just hungry. I feel like since I've been working out, I'm eating more. I just have more of an appetite, but I don't know if I've always had a big appetite, so I don't know if I can blame that on the workouts. I don't think of anything else interesting that happened today. I don't know, it was just, I was at the church for like four hours. I got five hours of sleep last night. I woke up at five. Oh yeah, I was gonna tell you about this. I woke up at five and I thought, man, I am doing good. My husband was, I didn't just wake up, but my husband had to get up for work. And he was leaving at 5.30 and so I, wasn't gonna go back to bed. I was going to get up when he got up to leave. So I got up and I was like, oh, it's 5.30. I don't have to be at the church till eight and they're just down the street from the house. This is gonna be amazing. So I went and took a shower and I thought, oh, after I get out of the shower, I'm just gonna like sit down with a cup of coffee and relax for a little bit. No, got out of the shower, got dressed, did my makeup and then boom, it was time to wake up my son. So I made my coffee. Woke up my son, got him ready, and we left. Like, I had no extra time. And we got there maybe 10 minutes before 8, so I got in just in time to get started for rehearsal, not for, like, service. So rehearsal was from, like, 8 a.m. until service didn't start until, like, 10.45. It was crazy. We were there for a long time, and then service ran until noon. So I was there from 8 until noon. My son had to go to two Sunday school classes. Like he was in the same class, but he was there for two services, but he loved it. They had this really cool room that was 
just filled with like play play stuff like the the slides the fish there was like a whole fisher price castle in there it was really cool so he loved it and when we got in the car he was asleep before we made it home like he just passed out and i took him inside <laughs> and took his shoes off and he was still asleep I took his socks off. He was still asleep. I took, he had on two shirts, like a little over plaid shirt and then a t-shirt. And I took off his little plaid shirt. He was still asleep. And then I took off his jeans and he kept fighting me to roll back over. But I got his jeans off and he still slept. And he slept until four o'clock. He fell asleep like 1230 to four. And then he went to bed at nine o'clock. He was tired. He was acting whiny. My husband said, well, he's probably ready to go to bed. I was talking to Tim on the phone. Also, I say my husband a lot. And I don't know if you guys, I do this sometimes when I'm watching other people or I'm listening to other people talk and they say like, oh, my husband and my son. I assume that means that that's not their son. But no, when I say my husband, it's Easton's dad. Tim is Easton's dad. That's what I'm talking about. But anyways, I was on the phone with Tim and he was like, well, he's probably ready to go to bed. And I go, Easton, are you ready to go to bed? And he walks over and he goes, na night table, na night floor, na night apple. He was eating an apple. And he just starts like walking around saying his night nights to everything. So I was like, okay. So I put him in bed and he's like, tuck a tuck. That means he wants to get tucked in. And then we said our prayers and he went to sleep that easy. So... Not that easy for me. I'm sure it's like almost 11 now and I'm exhausted. But that is all I have to share with you guys today. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for your prayers. It went great. Love you all and I'll see you tomorrow.